as we head towards spring, you start to get these, um, you start to get the lighter nights. Obviously the daylight lasts a bit longer. And the evening high tides are often the spring tides, so they're quite big and it only takes a little bit of swell. And you get this, well, you get, as you can see, you get quite big waves down here at Upgang on the seafront. Now, I used to come quite a lot. You know, going back a couple of years, I, I, I would come every year in this sort of late winter and through spring and, and watch the waves. And then I got to thinking today why I hadn't been for so long. I think the last time I was down here was in the middle of lockdown. When I remembered this, uh, I'd been walking along and this dog was in the sea. And a lady was trying to get it out and it ended up, I had to virtually drag the lady out the sea. And um, a poor dog died. A dog died, the lifeboat had to come out and the coast guard. And uh, yeah, I'd been walking along here and, and this lady's dog had gone in the sea and she was going in after it. I mean, she, she wouldn't have stood a chance if she'd have gone in there. And I, I virtually had to drag, she was down the bottom of the steps. I virtually, she was lucky she never got washed in. I had to virtually drag her back up. She was adamant on going in after the dog and I eventually persuaded her not to. And sadly the poor dog died. Another lifeboat had to come and the coast guard were out. And um, it really, really upset me. And then when I was talking to the lady, she said she just lost her husband. She just lost her husband the week prior. I mean, it must have been a dreadful time for her, but it really it traumatized me as well. I was really upset and I don't think I've been back since because of that. Looks like the sun's setting behind us now. What I do enjoy at this time of night is watching all the seagulls fly out. They come off the roofs in Whitby 
and then they fly out to sea. I don't know if they go out on land out there or if they just fly about, last fly of the day and then back in. And I'm absolutely certain they do it because they enjoy it rather than because it serves any purpose such as food or anything. I think they just go out for a fly. And wouldn't you if you could? As soon as I saw you. Maybe we'll going down for railing down there. And Saturday. If I walk by the trees, will I catch the falling leaves when the wind blows? And I know. Carry 